Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lori Ann, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium to give you the messages that I received this week and it's all about love. This could be love with your current partner, love of your family, love of yourself, even some of us as love of a job. Whatever kind of love this is, we're going to talk about it today. And this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn and if Venus is in your Cap is in Capricorn as well. So I'm going to take a look at the overall message and then I will look at your side and I will look at the other side of the situation, the other person, whatever you're dealing with. We're going to look at that. But the overall message I meditated before I started your reading and the message I'm getting is this feeling of taking back control, taking control, but feeling really confident in whatever it is you're doing. Capricorn, this is probably... Uh, probably one of the most positive energy, higher vibrational readings that I've done for you in quite some time. And it's very positive, almost like a whole change of perspective, right? Where everything has changed. Now, you're not the only one. Another, per, another sign got this particular card and it's all about love. So this says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Now, when we do that, even in situations like what we're dealing with today in the world overall, in general, it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. When we see it from this perspective, just like I said, you're seeing things differently. We can see the good through the darkness. And that may be what you're doing in your own personal life, in your own personal relationship. And for some of you, that could be actually out in humanity as well. The openness, the vulnerableness of being, being love. <laughs> being love. Okay, we have the hangman and the page of pentacles. So the hangman energy is exactly what I'm talking about. When we stop and we take a step back and we look at everything from different angles. When we say, okay, and I've done this with some of my guidance clients, and this may be very beneficial for you to get this control that I'm talking about. And this is meant for whenever you view this video, whatever date you view this video. When we look at this situation and what you've already come through, all the struggles, all the strife to get you where you were, a month ago, two months ago, two weeks ago. We can take a moment and say, oh, I can see where this is going to land me. I can see if I go this direction where we take control, we can actually start a brand new beginning. This is an offer. This is an opportunity coming your way. For some of you, this is an opportunity of an actual I like you, let's be friends. It could be in a, in a you know, with Capricorn, you, this is you. You might be even in a place where you're being open and loving and forgiving of other people, changing your perspective. Because when we forgive others, it doesn't release them. Okay, they got their own karma to take care of. It disconnects us from being able to come from a place of love and at that point, when we disconnect, we can take control back and go in the direction that we intuitively know is the right way for us. Some of you may have made a financial investment where you recognize, oh, that wasn't my, you may have been following other people's advice and you invested in something, but recognize I wanted this and this didn't lose me money. Had I done that, I would have made money, right? So it's like, not only coming from a place of love, but accountability, responsibility, control of my life. I'm going to base it on my decision. I'm going to base it on my truth. Okay, the Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning for you coming in right now where you are literally taking your true authentic self, your beliefs, not someone else's, yours, and you're going to turn this wheel of fortune in your favor. For some of you, this is a truth coming into you all about love. This is a sincere apology coming in 
this is part of your destined path. So you were meant to get this apology at this time. And a lot of people reject this communication and you can absolutely but there's usually something attached by us taking a moment and listening to it now i feel this is coming via i'm hearing telephone so some of you might be hearing from this king of wands that just came out by telephone and the king of wands this is an energy you also got the five of pentacles the king of wands is an energy of taking back that confidence like i said this is a person who understands what that means this could be you as a business owner you as a family leader in a leadership capacity where you are leading a group of people now this could be you leading a group of people from a place of lack where we are coming you are coming from a place of love leading them lifting them inspiring them to overcome to look for the opportunities through this time whatever it is you're dealing with whoever it is you are working with in your personal environment but whoever this person is the king of wands this is a leo aries or sagittarius we have virgo taurus capricorn libra gemini aquarius energy and i'm hearing virgo virgo strong in this so this is a person who is alluring, who is very convincing when they speak to people. People listen to this person. Not like the queen of wands, where she's in the more social, outward, male, female. It doesn't matter. We're looking at a general reading. So this is you behind the scenes taking control and putting everything in direction so you no longer feel in a place of lack. Not financially, not love-wise, and especially not from self-love. You're seeing the good in all things, which is really raising you up to the King of Wands. That's beautiful. Now, some of you, this is a King of Wands coming in. They felt rejected by you. You may have cut this person off. They could have, I feel you, I feel you may have extended an offer to this King of Wands energy, and they rejected it. Now, they do have the Two of Cups that came out, and they also have the Nine of Wands. There is a lot of people right now, overall in general, kind of like a, a reconciling differences I'm finding is taking place uh, throughout the world. Whoever this person is, they were worn out. They were tired. They may have been trying to end a, uh, actually sever ties with somebody that they thought may have been their true life partner. They may have been in a relationship that was like 20 years and they thought that was the one they were gonna grow old with. Worn out, exhausted, trying to fix and repair something that most likely should have ended years prior, but they were persistent because that's their person. And we've all been there, we all know. <laughs> we've all been there, right? I know you have Capricorn. So this is them coming in saying, you know what? You were the one I should have invested in you. You were the one. This means somebody coming back around. They're building up that courage to speak the truth. This is a lot of strength and courage because when somebody wrongs us in any way and they don't recognize it originally, but we do, we disconnect from them. It hurts us. And they can be in a place of confusion if they don't recognize it. Sometimes they do and they continue forward. But in this particular moment, this particular person has been hiding and repressing the truth. They've been trying to suppress it inside of them. And that's what makes them feel worn out and tired because they weren't able to speak the truth. Their throat chakra was blocked. You're still going to hear a little bit of <clears throat> when they talk. You're going to feel it. It's in this part of their throat, but not here. If it's right here, they can't really speak. So this is going to be very challenging, but they are going to rise up to the occasion. This is truth that needed to come out at this point in time. At this point in time in your life, it's the right time. So let me pull an overall romance angel card. You know, the Two of Cups is a beautiful partnership. This could be a work situation, a family on any level. 
But this is about two people coming together with real love, authenticity. This is real love. This is a true partnership. So you may have recognized it or they did. I feel it was more you getting to know each other. And as you reveal your innermost selves, the two of you will begin to bond and you'll begin to merge. If you choose to reconcile differences with your current partner or whoever this is, this is somebody that you already know and there is love between the two of you. So Capricorn, I wish you an absolutely amazing week and thank you for watching. Much love.